Hey guys, I'm Kamen Rider Silver, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Planet of the Apes Migos style Gorilla Soldier by NECA Toys and Real Toys, it looks like, as it says in the packaging over here. Looks like NECA teamed up with another toy manufacturing company to make this awesome Migos style Gorilla Soldier from Planet of the Apes. And I'm not talking about the rapper's Migos. They're a good, they're a good band. But this was the original Migos, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Amigo? I don't know. Uh, but this is a great figure. I got this when I was doing some uh, birthday shopping. I got this at a local toy shop for 15 bucks. New in package. Here's the packaging. I'll show it off later. But this is a great figure and probably one of my most favorite figures of my collection. So let's take a closer look. Before we take a look at the figure itself, I want to show you just the card back that comes inside the plastic. It's amazing. It's, it's a painting, basically, of the Gorilla Soldiers. You can see them all in the back, but this is like the main Gorilla Soldier, I guess, on this horse. And then the back has a great ACBA-style uh, picture, which I took one of my own, which I'll show you at the end. Has its, uh, has the bio. More brutish by nature and heavily armed, the soldiers of the Gorilla Arm Army strictly enforce law and order in the ape society and guard against threats from the Forbidden Zone. Punishment comes swiftly for lawbreakers as well as any wild animals caught stealing ape crops. You can also get George Taylor. But yeah, just it's great. It's made of this really nice cardboard. I just really think that's cool. But taking a look at the figure now, what an amazing figure. Oh, well. He, he has a great face sculpt. I just want to start off with that. Let's get this back a little bit. Look at that face sculpt. That looks like something straight out of the 1968 movie. Look at that. You can see the eyes in there. The mouth. It just looks amazing. The fur. It's great. And... As I say in a lot of my reviews, it's not just a black plastic, there's some uh, brown mixed in there. And then the rest of his body, I'm just going to take his gun off for right now, is, is, uh, it's not, it's not molded guys, it's different this time. This is a fully clothed figure. So this feels like a kind of fake leather. It's very nice, it's nice and shiny. And then this is kind of a polyester purple. It's so nice. And then his hands are made of plastic, his boots are made of plastic, but everything else is real material. It feels so nice. Let's look at the back, more detail back there. His boots have that nice sandy look on the bottom. His clothes has been dirtied up a little bit, as you can see. You can see it up here too. And it just looks amazing. I love the detail that was put into this figure. It just looks like it's from the movie. I don't know how else to even say that. But it looks absolutely boss. Look at that. That looks that looks amazing. I, I don't even know what else to say about that. Wow. My gosh. And it was only 15 bucks. I can't believe it. That looks amazing. And I usually cut to the accessory scene, but I'm just going to show it right here. He comes with the, you know, the ape carbine. I love how this gun looks. It's very smooth. And I always thought this was weird that here's like the clip. That's where you put the clip, but there's like nothing in there. It's hollow. It's so weird. But it's so smooth and it has somewhat of a metallic look to it. You can kind of see the sparkles. Very nice. It has this kind of elastic leather-ish bandolier down here. Got some bandolier clips up there. And this fits into his hand very nicely. You just kind of put it right here and put the trigger finger through. And then you can, here. There we go. Then you can put his other hand right there. And he is ready to shoot George Taylor in the throat 
and make him look like he can't talk. Look at that. That looks amazing. That right there is probably one of my favorite figures ever. Probably. I have some very favorite figures, but this has got to be one of my favorite. Wow. Now taking a look at articulation, since I can't actually see the joints themselves, since they're not exposed, I'm kind of guessing. I have a good idea of what is in there. So, ball joint head that looks up that much, down that much. He has, it feels like a hinge right here at the shoulder. It goes up, down, forward, back. There's a bicep swivel in here. It's kind of hindered by this closer here, and I don't want to break, break it. He has a single joint at the elbow that crunches about that much, about that far back, swivels. Or, no, it doesn't swivel. Then he has a ball joint at the hand, so all kinds of movement down there. Then it feels like he has a waist swivel right here. It feels like there's something right there. And then there's no, there's no crunch in there. But there is a ball-like joint at the thigh. It goes out, in, forward, back. Then he has no sw Yeah, he has a swivel at the thigh. Single joint knee. Goes back that much. No knee. No swivel at the boot. And then he has a hinge at the foot. Goes up and down. So, pretty good articulation on this guy. Like I said, I'm, I'm not guessing per se, but I can't quite see what's under there. So, that's my best guess, I guess. <laughs> that's a lot of guessing. Yeah. Now, scaling up the Gorilla Soldier, he is a bigger figure like the Migos figures were. So, he stands at about... Eight and a half inches. Putting him next to the Caesar figure from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. You can see he's quite a bit larger here. Let's move this down here. Quite a bit larger. And that's how the old Migos figures were, so I think that looks quite nice. I also just wanted to show you what he looks like on a Lord of the Rings horse. I think that looks quite nice. So there you go guys, there was a look at the Planet of the Apes Migos style Gorilla Soldier from NECA and Real Toys. Great figure. He is kind of expensive on eBay. He ranges from the $35 to $45 range if you're getting a pretty good deal. I don't think it gets too much larger from there, but that's pretty much how he costs. I got him only for $15, so that's why I got him. But great figure nonetheless. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!